Hi, I'm Jen. Happy December, everyone. Since it's the beginning of December, it's time for November favorites, so let's just get into it. I've seen this product really pushed at me on those YouTube commercials. You know, that 30 second commercial before you can watch the actual YouTube video. Well, they've been really pressing these Downy Unstoppables on me, and I didn't think it was going to get to me. But when I saw this product just hanging on a loan shelf at Target, I couldn't help myself. I had to have it, and I bought it, and I love it, and I feel really ashamed. Basically, this product is just an incense booster, so it's not a soap. It just makes your clothes smell really, really good. And by now, I'm pretty sure you guys know that I love the smell of laundry detergent, but I think it's hard to find a detergent that really sticks to your clothing. And this is the product that does it. You pour as little or as much as you want. And I like to pour in one cup and then a little bit more so I can really, you know, saturate my clothing so I just smell like the perfect laundromat. And I love, I love using this on my bed sheets outerwear, sweaters. I was reading some reviews about this online just to see what the cons were, I guess, and a lot of people had problems with irritation when they wash this with their underwear or their boxers or just any sort of undergarment. I don't think the chemical properties of this are very good for soft membranes on the human body, so I would just kind of forego your, your undies. If you guys seen my video, Out of the Town, Finding a Fragrance, you probably already know this, but it's Versace's Bright Crystal, and it is my official signature scent. I've been trying to make this a ritual. I've been spraying it on my wrists and on my neck, and I love it. It smells so good. It's the perfect blend of fruit and floral. It's just a really nice balance, and I find that a lot of fra other fragrances kind of distort throughout the day as they begin to fade, but this one fades very gradually and gracefully, and I think it just stays really true to its scent. But the downside of the spray is that it doesn't last very long. I think a spritz lasts maybe two hours and then you're donezo. Um, but then again, I don't really know a lot of the lifespan of other fragrances. So tell me, is this normal for a fragrance to end that fast? I'm originally from Southern California, so I've been spoiled with the awesome weather down there. But since I came up north, it's been a lot colder. I realized last year I didn't know how to layer properly, so I'd be wearing a sweater, just a sweater, and then I'd wear a jacket and a scarf, and I'd still be really cold. I realized that you need a thermal. I know it seems like common sense to a lot of you guys, but it didn't click with me. It's weird. So I went to Urban Outfitters and I got a bunch of thermals, and this is one of my favorite ones. I love how it's a boat neck because now I can wear sweaters that are more off the shoulder or something, and it's a really neutral color, which I love. And the thermal really helps retain warmth and adds just a few degrees to your body, which are very crucial when you're absolutely freezing outside. So my next favorite is a jewelry piece, and they're these earrings. They're the Eye of Ra, or the Eye of Horus, and it's the Egyptian symbol for good health, protection, and royal power. And I got these on sale at Urban Outfitters on the website, and I've been wearing these nonstop. I think they go with absolutely everything. It's so weird. I've been putting up my hair a lot in a ponytail, so I think these are just really good accents on my ears, and I think they're a great conversation piece. I saw another movie in theaters, and it's called The Master, and I think it's still playing, and it is a phenomenal film. It's kind of a Hollywood rendition of what Scientology is, although the producers deny it, but it's about Scientology and Ron Hubbard. I've always been kind of curious about Scientology because whenever I'm walking in LA or SF, I'll see this really sexy, elaborate building, and I'd just be wondering, well, where did this come from? Can I go inside? Is it a store? But usually it's a Scientology building and they just kind of want to induct you. I've never been in. If any of you guys are Scientologists or have been inducted, please let me know what the process is like. I'm pretty curious. Anyway, back to the movie. The acting in this film is amazing. Joaquin Phoenix and Philip Hoffman do an amazing job, like their their chemistry on screen is just so raw and realistic, like it gives me hope for where the film industry is going today. You guys gotta go check it out before it's not in theaters anymore. So those are all my favorites, it's not a very extensive list, but I guess I've been pretty mellow this month. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about any of my favorites. If any of these things kind of spark something in your mind, please let me know, just write it out. If you guys have an Instagram, my username is I'm Janim. I would love it if you follow me on there. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video, and thanks so much for watching. See ya!